Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, here's my creation I made for um, my swap uh, here on YouTube with Tamika's group at Scrap the World. So this is like take probably like 20 and it's one o'clock in the morning. So this time if I forget something or whatever, it's, it's just it. So my camera decided not to work. My cell phone won't work on its side view. So you guys are just going to have to get this view and have the, you know, the black lines, but sorry. Anyway, so here's how mine come packaged. So mine's coffee themed. Now this was the pocket letter swap. Basically you're in a group of nine. You make a total of 10 pocket letter inserts. So not the full pocket letter, just the inserts. And they all have to be the same. You keep one for yourself. You send one for Tamika and the other eight for your partners and you'll get eight back. So you have to keep one for yourself so you have a complete set of nine because the pocket letter sleeves, it's nine, two and a half by three and a half cards um, per sleep, per pocket letter. So um, I think there was two groups, two or three. One was Shabby Chic, one was Clean and Simple, and I think one was Vintage. And I'm in the clean and simple, so it had to be, you know, it couldn't be over the top. Clean and simple is just that, clean and simple. Um, so I, let me tell you the products I used first. I used this paper pad, um, die cuts with a view, the garden tea party stack. I used Craftsmith piece of paper from here. Um, this is called Blush Glam, which is like my favorite paper pad. Because it's gold foiled and boss. Um, I use this stamp set, which is called Coffee House from Just Right. And I use this stamp. I used this one, the coffee beans, and of course the saying there. I also used my Stampin' Up Framelits the Labels Collection, which is somewhere on my desk but it's how I did this uh, oh there it is uh, there we go I used gold embossing powder and I used Stampin' Up smooches um, as you can tell I am a Stampin' Up demonstrator so I have a lot of Stampin' Up stuff I'm not really a current demonstrator but whatever so this smooch stuff Stampin' Up doesn't even make anymore I think this like went out back in between 2008 and 2010 and I'm just now using it like I'm a hoarder I don't know why I just keep stuff and save it but I need to use it so I have this in like five or six different colors and I have like two or three of each so it's not like I'm gonna run out um anyway so I use that gold that's the splashes kind of like where my thumb is there and underneath the a and pleasure so there's that. The coffee beans are all gold embossed and um, fussy cut and I just stuck them on with glue. The saying I gold embossed onto the pink paper and then I cut it out with the framelit and then distressed the edges with Tim Holtz um, vintage photo. The coffee cup is just embossed, gold embossed on white and I fussy cut it and stuck it on pop dot. And this pink stuff here is like a pink, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know, it's this pink stuff, pink twine, I guess, I don't know. So that's what it is. Um, and on the back is just another piece of the pink paper. Um, I did use lightweight chipboard, so that way it's sturdy. Um, but and I also distressed that with the Tim Holtz vintage photo. So on the back of the cards that my partners are going to get, I do have the six questions and then my P.O. box. So the Tiffany stickers I used to stick <laughs> stick the information on, they are from 1990. So I was like eight years old um, when I got them and I'm saving them for a perfect occasion, a special occasion. And I'm 34 years old now, so it's about time to use them. Um, but because they are so old... Um, they're more like reusable stickers and they are regular stickers. So, um, it's very easy for my partners to just take my information off just in case they want to use this tag. Um, I've been in other pocket letter swaps and I've actually used 
the pocket letters on card fronts or as a gift tag. Um, because I just really love them and I thought they were perfect for whatever gift I was sending. And I just took the, the people's information off. Um, well, actually what I did was I took a picture of that pocket letter insert and took their information off the back, put the picture in the slot with their information and, you know, just kind of showed them what I made with it. Um, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I did. So there you go. Um, my original idea for this pocket letter swap was this paper here. I actually coffee stained just, you know, basic white paper and it came out really pretty and it smells amazing. And then I was like, okay, well, let me stamp some coffee beans on it to give it some um, decoration. And, and I mean, I liked it. I just didn't love it. And I made these little shaker um, I don't know, embellishment things. Sorry, it's like 1 a.m. So I made these little embellishment things and I was going to put it on there and I was going to have the saying, but I just did not love it. It was not my favorite. So I went back to the drawing board, turned these into paper clips so you can put it on your um, daily planners. And on the back, I just put, the, put them pink. And these are the paper clips from the dollar store that everyone is going crazy for. But I, most people are gluing onto this surface here. But I put a pop dot or glue dot on the other side and left this side. So if you have it sticking out of your planner, this pretty side will be out. Maybe you can put a note on there, you know, coffee with someone special or something like that. Um, but yet you still have this pretty element instead of like the back of it, which is not that attractive. So, I mean, the back of it looks like that. So, I don't know. It's just on a glue dot. It's easy to turn around if somebody wants to turn it around. What else? Um, what else did I do? So I cut out the large coffee mug. And this was just a printable I found on Google. I just Google searched um, printable coffee cups. And this image came out. So I just printed it on lightweight cardstock. Cut it out. And um, back, you know, put some designer paper on it. And then this is just that pink paper. The lids, some have black glitter paper that I had in my stash and some I had to hand glitter. It's the same thing, but, you know. Um, I also did a fun, um, where is it? All right, here it is. A fun little shrinky dink, if I can pick it up. So this little guy, is this stamp right here. So all I did was take the, um, let's see if you can see it better on the white. I stamped the coffee cup on um, shrink ink film or shrink film uh, with stays on ink and I took a Sharpie and I just wrote from Tiffany pocket letter swap 2016 and then I hit it with a heating tool and you know shrunk it down. So now it's that tiny it's the same stamp so I just love that technique I love shrink film I shrink everything and I just attached it to the side as sort of a dangle um I guess I probably should have added more but mm, it's one o'clock in the morning I gotta get these out tomorrow um so my goodies are attached on the little bag thing and here's what I put in there so some little felts and glitter rhinestone cupcakes to go with my my Facebook page is coffee cake and crafting so uh, coffee cake and crafting and I put some bottle oh some bottle caps in there this little jewel flower thing which is really pretty it has a pop dot on the back um this sparkly pink ribbon stuff. I'm not really sure what type of ribbon it is. I found it in the clearance bin and it already came, it came um, nine rolls on a big roll, like a big plastic roll thing. So I'm not really sure, but it, I mean, it's cute. I love it. So I haven't used it. Um, you're also going to get, everyone has a different cabochon 
This one's like a cake, cake with some roses. So, what are you gonna use that for? I don't know, but because it goes with my whole Facebook name, I thought it was cute. Bought a whole bunch of them. I love them. Yeah. And then I also did the these butterflies. So when I was doing my original plan and coffee staining everything, I did some coffee stain filters. And then I just let them dry overnight and punched butterflies out of them. And they smell amazing. Like, they really smell like the coffee. And they're so pretty. And, like, they're really, because it's a coffee filter, they're really dainty. And then I just did a cream pink and white one to go with it. So that's my goodies. That's my swap. And um, that's how they come packaged. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.